Isn't it wild to think that they make prototypes for everything? And by they, I mean anybody who produces something, who makes an item, there is a prototype for it. There has to be a test run or a sample. And you know, I used to work for this food broker company. We dealed with the retailers and the producers. So one day we had prototype muffins come into the office. And I don't just mean like a working ingredients list. Like, oh yeah, we tried some sim and this time. Oh yeah, a little bit less than the blueberry there. No, like there were full on prototype packages for these muffins. And so I was like, should I keep this? Like, should I put this on display? Cause I'm just like predisposed to prototypes and collecting and all that stuff. But yeah, don't worry. I didn't, I don't have prototype muffins on display. I promise. Welcome back though to prototype prestige. This is episode 11. If you guys are unfamiliar with this series, I did 10 episodes last year in the spring. I'll leave the playlist link in the description below along with some direct links in the card session pop-up in the top right corner and in the description if you want to just directly go to those. We reviewed some crazy prototypes, whether it be Holly Schiffwell or even the hearse Steve Hersel. And I have five more picked out already and I hope to do more than 10 episodes in 2023. We'll see if that happens, but you guys can help make it happen by commenting in the comments what prototypes do you want to see me review? Now, I know you guys might be like, I don't know what prototypes you have. Well, yes, you do. Haul videos, giga hauls, collection videos. Look in those videos. And if something caught your eye and you want to see it highlighted in a full-on video all to itself, just let me know in the comments below. Now, don't go commenting all sorts of, like, I would really love to see a prototype of Big Al. It's like, well, I'd really love to have a prototype of Big Al, but I don't. All right, guys. We're going to hop right on in, but before we do, I want to shout out Get Me Collectibles. You know, it's winter right now in the Northern Hemisphere. You might feel a little blue at times, but you know what always cheers me up? Buying a new car. <laughs> as bad as it sounds, but hey, you know, for real, retail therapy is a real thing, and check out his store because he has just about every car's item you could ask for and at the best prices on the internet. Always got deals going on. You could save if you buy multiple. So I'll leave that link in the description in below. Yeah, down below there, along with his email if you have any inquiries. So enough of the administrative stuff. Obviously today we have Rhonda, one of the storytellers, Motorama girls, one of actually the rarest retail releases of all time, probably in the top 10, maybe like top 12. Because, you know, you have Race Damage Mood Springs, you have El Matador, you have Bubba, and then you get to the showstoppers here, you know, Sheila, Laverne, and Rhonda. I love Rhonda the most. For those of you, you know, who know <laughs> something personal about me, you would know why I like Rhonda the most. I also just love the color. But then, of course, Mater's Cousins, Cletus, Judd, and Buford. Those are like your top, you know, rarest retail releases of all time, not just, you know, convention exclusives or picnic you know oh yeah mattel made 10 cars for pixar employees at picnic yeah that doesn't count so to have a prototype of not only race damage mood springs but also this is pretty wild yeah i did review race damage mood springs last season or whatever last year and these are two of my most prized possessions i actually got both of them from the same person several years ago they were some of my first prototypes back in maybe like 2017, 2018. It came from a French seller on eBay. Yeah, believe it or not, this stuff is on eBay. Everyone asks me, how do you get prototypes? How do you get canceled cars? A lot of it truly is eBay, you know? So just keep your eye out and you know, make some connections on you know, my Discord community, my Tapa Talk community, and my Facebook communities. You can meet all sorts of people on there and maybe some of them might eventually sell a prototype. All right. What's different between the prototype and the actual version? Well, right off the bat, you could tell that <laughs> prototype Rhonda has a different colored base and mouth plate here. So yeah, this was during the time where almost every car had a mouth plate. So you could see this crack right along the grill here where they separated the main body 
from the mouth, the headlights and all that stuff because they wanted to be able to switch them out. You know, if they were to re-release the same model, you know, with McQueen, it made perfect sense. Like, oh yeah, now we're making a different variant than McQueen. Give them a new mouth. Oh, we're making another sedan, like another, I don't know, Timothy two-stroke type model car. They switch out the mouth, right? They did a ton. They don't do it anymore because they found it cheaper to just make one standardized mold and just be very systematic about it. But before they were, you know, very forward thinking. And it's kind of like what they do now when they make the streamlined blisters and they make them fit multiple cars, whether it be pit crew member Fillmore and regular Fillmore or body shop Ramon and regular Ramon. So that's kind of the idea. But you could see that the plastic pieces on this Ronda are, you know, not how they should be. And that is what I love about prototypes. They get really colorful, and this is certainly one of them that has a green base and absolutely zero base markings, which, you know, it's not always the case. Sometimes it is, but usually, you know, most prototypes have at least some base markings. You can see this one has almost all of them, except for the date stamp. Let's take a look at this Maryland here. This one has... See, this one has nothing, so it really all depends on the prototype. The back wheels are black and unpainted. You could tell that you know these are white wall tires with silver hubcaps, but none of that is present. And the front tires are red, like an orangish red, which I absolutely adore. It just looks so cool and adds to her colorful appearance. But other than that, almost everything is actually how it should be. Now you do see a little bit of a color discrepancy. The colors aren't perfect. There's definitely a little bit more sparkle in the actual release version. You could easily see that on camera right now. The eye might look a little bit brighter, a little different, but you still have the silver line going down the body there, the silver trim on the windows, the fins, Oh, here we have another difference. Her taillights have not been painted with the final red there. You can see that they're just all silver. Now, in addition to the mouth plate, there was also a bumper plate here, which is this piece. And that is also not painted. It's actually, oh, is this a part of the base? Now you can see that this is a separate piece right there from the base. Yeah, it's a little harder to tell when everything is green, but <laughs> that's funny. Green and pink, such a weird color combo. But yeah, they all look really good. All the prototypes, in my opinion, that are colorful. I'd also say that the fins on the prototype are a completely different color. They're like a orange, whereas they're definitely more pink on the release version and also way glittier. Glitterier. Cool. So a couple of color differences and obviously the plastic pieces are not painted the way they should be. So very cool. That is all guys for the Motorama Girl Ronda. You guys, again, let me know in the comment section below, what do you want to see me do a prototype prestige episode on? I have the next four planned out. So if you make a suggestion, don't expect to maybe see it until, you know, several months from now. Because I don't intend to release these like bang, 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 maybe like a every other week type of affair. But it all depends on what else is going on. You know, if Mattel drops case E or F or something like that, I'm going to review the new cars in that case. And those always take precedent. But yeah, Ronda looking super sexy. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye now. So as per usual, I had an afterthought. There are not many prototypes that look like this where... Everything is done except for the you know plastic pieces and especially having the eyes there as you can see most prototypes Don't have eyes, but it's very very similar to this Doc Hudson prototype that has everything intact on the metal body But again the base is a completely wrong color and the tires are not painted So I wanted to point that out. You don't see many prototypes that look like this a lot of them are your traditional no detailing at all, no normal paint, and obviously no eyes. So you find one of these, take advantage of that. They are not common.